And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. The snow continues out there for some locations this morning. Storm Tracker radar showing the lingering snow showers making their way southward across the I-15 corridor. The good news is the snow diminishes over the next few hours. We stay dry throughout the day, but more snow will be on the way for tonight into tomorrow morning. Let's take a look outside across McCammon. I-15 webcam roadways do look clear out there, but don't be surprised if you do see some areas of ice, slick spots, also black ice out there with temperatures falling below freezing across many locations for this morning. Temperatures again for the Snake River Plain, mostly in the 20s. We're at 25 in Idaho Falls, 27 in Blackfoot. Pocatello, you're at 31 degrees, the western half of Wyoming, waking up to temperatures in the 20s. 28 for Afton, 27 for Jackson. We're at 27 degrees also across Driggs. Storm Tracker satellite radar again showing us with those mo with the moisture pushing south. And again, we are seeing some clearing across parts of the central mountains. But I think for the Snake River Plain today, we see a lot of low level clouds out there. So rather cloudy, not much in terms of sunshine. The western half of Wyoming will see some clearing into the afternoon. But notice out to the northwest, those clouds, there's also moisture behind it. That'll be our next round of snow that builds in for tonight into tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning's commute could look a little different than what it is out there for this morning. We'll see more snow out there. But for today across the Snake River Plain, we will fortunately stay dry throughout the day. High temperatures will be mostly in those 30s. We'll be at 32 today in Idaho Falls, 31 for Rexburg, 36 today across Pocatello. For the Central Mountains, partly cloudy with high temperatures staying in those 30s. We'll be at 39 in Salmon, 32 for Lettor, 30 across Chalice. And for the Highlands and Western Wyoming, a few snow showers possible throughout the day. I think your area sees some clearing later on this afternoon, allowing for some sunshine and some blue sky as well. High temperatures in the 20s and the 30s. Tomming out the clouds and the moisture for you. 7 o'clock this morning. Lots of clouds across the Snake River Plain. You'll notice for the most part the moisture tapers off by about midday around lunchtime. Again, lots of clouds for the Snake River Plain. A few snow showers for the highlands into the western half of Wyoming. But take a look as I move into the evening hours and to the overnight. Snow starting to build in for the Central Mountains. The snow pushes across the Snake River Plain by about 1 o'clock in the morning. It will be a quick shot of moisture, but it could still leave us about a trace to even two inches of snow for the overnight hours. So tomorrow morning's commute, I would definitely give yourself a little bit more extra time out there in those low temperatures, similar to what they were last night, 20s and 30s. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy dealers seven day forecast leaves us with a few lingering snow showers tomorrow morning will be mostly cloudy for Friday, partly cloudy on Saturday. But look at that. 46 degrees will be a really nice weekend out there, at least for the first half. Sunday gets a little interesting. We'll start off with lots of clouds out there, then moisture builds in. We could see some rain and then it will turn to all snow. So traveling back from any Super Bowl parties could definitely be a bit slick out there. And then temperatures become much cooler into next week. Idaho Falls, your seven day forecast, isolated snow showers this morning. A few more possible tomorrow morning. Will be mostly cloudy for Friday, partly cloudy on Saturday. Snow showers expected for Sunday. Across the Teton area, snow showers possible today and tomorrow. And for the Central Mountains, expect to see a partly cloudy sky also for today and tomorrow. More clouds for Friday.